Hello, I'm Cabot Rimmers Music. I'm going to show you this today. So this is the Roland F701. This one I'm playing, it's in white. It also comes in a natural wood colour and uh, black as well. But I think this uh, white one is absolutely beautiful. And check this lid out. So it just, just looks like a a really nice contemporary modern piece of furniture in your home but not just that I've uh, spent a bit of time with this piano this digital piano and it's far more than just a digital piano there's so many sounds in there 324 to be exact it's uh, it's unreal the drum sets the sound effects uh, we'll come on to them in a bit uh, I'll just run you through some of the uh, uh, piano sounds, uh, electric piano, and then I'll just show you what it can do. So, first of all, you turn it on, what have you got? Well, you've got the grand concert piano, and through these 12 watt, uh, two 12 centimeter speakers, You've got a supernatural sound engine, and it's 3D sound. Now, I know it's not going to come through on the video, but believe me, trust me, it sounds phenomenal. It's, it's literally, it's going everywhere, all the sound. It's, it's amazing. And when you put headphones on, it transports you to another place. It's just unreal. I can't speak highly enough of how good this sounds. So... I'll just play a little bit on the uh, the very first sound that you get as soon as you turn it on. Like I said, it's the concert grand. All right. Let's turn it up a bit. There we go. You've got this nice screen here, which tells you everything you need to know about what's going on. As soon as I pressed volume there, it changed from saying grand uh, concert piano to volume straight away and I can see just how much I'm getting. All right, so. Listen to them hammers there. Uh, synthetic hammers obviously, but Absolutely beautiful. So realistic. And you've got that, that after ring as well that you will get from an acoustic piano, especially on these high notes. Now, there's a hundred levels of sensitivity in the samples, which is just unreal. So, just as an example, so I can touch very, very lightly. I'll get loud. So you can get so much expression and dynamics into your playing. All right, so we'll just quickly, so to get to get through the sounds, it's just a dial at the side of the screen. You just turn it, so. Just give you a quick run through, I'll only, I'll only play chords as I go through, because like I said, there's so many different sounds. So we've got ballad piano, mellow piano, bright piano, upright piano, Mellow upright, bright upright, ragtime, forte piano, mellow forte piano, bright forte piano, and then you got harpsichord, harpsichord, eight plus four, uh, 1976 suitcase piano. Uh, so yeah, we're on the electric pianos now, and there is quite a few, so let's uh, just demo the the 60s electric piano, because I think this sounds fantastic. All right, so. Lovely, and the, uh, the kind of chorus effect and the tremolo there that's, that's just waving very gently, you'll find that on uh, quite a few of these sounds. Like I said, I'm going to go through the special effects uh, that are built into it. Before I do, 
the first thing that struck me when I sat down with this piano was it's not just a piano. I think it's the ideal instrument to have in any recording studio. I do a lot of uh, songwriting and producing myself and I've got a little humble home recording studio, a little bedroom studio, you know, nice little setup. I would absolutely love this. It's got everything you need from the drums and bass, guitars, uh, the string section and all the special effects are phenomenal. And it would suit uh, anything from a humble home studio right up to Abbey Road, Sound City, that kind of level. That is how good this digital piano is, this Roland F701. Fantastic. So let's just go through a few more sounds. So what have we got here? Ah, yes, yeah, so the magical piano. All right, so. You've got a kind of choral string pad effect behind the piano. And it sounds fantastic, listen to this. I absolutely love that, it's phenomenal. So let's run through a few more sounds for you. Okay, so you have two buttons here, you've got your pianos, uh, and then the other button is basically for all the rest of the instruments that are built in here. Like I said, it's so much more than just a digital piano, it really is. So you've got all your strings here. <laughs> Symphonic strings, epic strings. Wow, the massive, the huge, rich strings. Orchestra strings. Harp. nice tremolo, uh, vibrato should I say though, with the violin, very realistic. Oh, beautiful. Uh, violin strings, cello, go a bit lower for that. Oh, that's so rich, full. So lots of others, pizzicato, symphonic, Soft pad. So I'm just going to skip for a few now. Flute. Uh, we've got some organs. <laughs> Combo jazz organ. It sounds brilliant. Ballad organ. Church organ. And so on. <laughs> so, yeah, 
yeah, plenty of organs there. If you're an organ fan, you, you're spoiled for choice. You really are. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> Do, re, mi, there's a few of them. And then we've got drums. So we've got a standard drum kit. We've got a room set. So that will basically sound a bit more enclosed. Uh, there won't be too, uh, too much resonance on them drums and reverb. Okay, a power set, an electric set. Now think, Roland, what did Roland make in the 80s? The 808, the 909, the 707. All them classic drum machines, all them sounds. They're all in here. All them tunes from the 80s. Wow. <laughs> it's phenomenal. The analog drum kit. So, this is where you're going to get them classic, uh, classic drum machine sounds from. Recognise that? I think everyone recognises that. 808 Cowbell. You know, so... Oh, so much fun. Imagine this with a computer and a recording system. Imagine the sounds you could... get together. Like just, just that. Oh, that just gives me so much inspiration to, to make a house music record, you know. Whoa. I'm, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to keep it on this analog uh, drum kit and I'm just going to press every single key so you get an idea of what's uh, the, the capabilities and what's in this piano. All right, so. I'm just going to go back to that kick drum. Oh wow, phenomenal. <laughs> now these bongos here in the in the middle C area, each one is kind of spread out along the piano and it, the 3D sound really comes out. I'm not going to bore you by <laughs> playing pongos on the piano, but it's just to give you an idea. I mean, you've got a door, you set it up, you set up a stereo track, record that in, and it'll it'll be 3D sound through your stereo speakers. Wow, it sounds amazing. So we'll just carry on there. <laughs> me happy that so let's go through a few more we've got a jazz set there we've got a brush set again every single key will do something a different sound orchestra set now sfx set this blew my mind that still blows my mind no so we start see these keys don't do anything we start on this D sharp, so it's your second D sharp. You recognize that sound. All the electro uh, breakdown stuff which merged its way into the charts, started in the early 80s and then became commercial to the late uh, 80s. That sound alone, it's in hundreds of sound, uh, songs. So I'm just gonna go through the keys. Steps. If you're making films, if you're making short movies, if you're making 
music videos, all these sound effects. White noise, love white noise. As a producer, it's fantastic in the right spot, brilliant. You got a scratch there of a kick drum. Chimes. Cast starting up. And the sound is phenomenal, it really is. <laughs> no, I personally I have used uh, live sirens if a police cars or ambulance have gone past uh, my apartment. I've quickly pressed record, recorded it, and I've used it in hip hop tracks, in dubstep tracks, in house tracks, in drum and bass tracks. Even for my old rock band as well, we had a song that started with sirens and... They're all built in. Things like that. Big, for big breaks and crescendos. We all know a song that starts with helicopters. There's definitely two Oasis ones I can think of off the top of my head anyway. You got the guns. never actually used a horse galloping in a song before but that sounds very good. Birds tweeting in the morning, I've certainly recorded that and used it as well. Again, another white noise. Such a good tool, this digital piano for producers. Thunder. I definitely used thunder as an intro before. I did a reggae song once that uh, I recorded a thunderstorm for. Oh, that sounds awesome. Some more white noise there, nice swoosh. And then we stop at the C sharp there after, it's the second C sharp after middle C. So that's the SFX set, that's part of the drums. There's that many uh, sounds in this, I've just had to make a few, few notes just to refer to. famous in all the early rave stuff which is making a comeback in recent years as well so what else have we got brass one brass two synth brass analog brass jump brass soprano sax alto sax baritone sax tenor sax the list goes on and on and on and on so what I want to show you now is there's some great synths in here <laughs> Dr. Solo. And I'm assuming that's Top to Who. I don't know how to play it, unfortunately, sorry. Honestly, you you love this piano. Anybody would, because I know I've said it before. It is so much more than just a digital piano. There is 
every single sound you could think of they're all built in plus so much more uh, there's even <laughs> fret noise from a guitar <coughs> when you're playing the guitar and you're sliding up and down it's even got that in there's electric guitars classical guitars acoustic guitars ukulele bass guitars we've got thunder <laughs> that was in the effects kit as well but still going on every key you know well from low to high is thunder so if you want a high pitch thunder bang there you go you want a low pitch thunder wind ideal for swooshes when you're making songs stream bubble birds so on and so forth. <laughs> Telephone. Door creaking. So let's find some bass sounds. Okay, so this bass sound, brilliant. and I have heard that in so many dance records, it's unreal. Synth bass. Rubber synth bass. This piano just blows my mind. It's absolutely brilliant. So I could, I, honestly, I could go on uh, talking and playing your different sounds, but you have to get one of these for yourself. Like I say, ideal for home, very contemporary design. It looks fantastic. It's sleek, it's modern, it's compact. It's the Roland F701. What a machine. Ideal for home, ideal for studios. You could even take it on, on tour with you. Why not? It sounds phenomenal. Uh, thanks for listening. Yeah, so the link to buy one of these uh, amazing instruments will be in the bio to this video. I've been Kev. Check us out at rumorsmusic.co.uk and I'll, uh, I'll see you again soon. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Nice one. Cheers. See you again.